Hi friends, let us learn about theories of acid and bases. But let us understand about the acid. Acid, a substance or a solution which turns blue liquid paper into red. A solution having pH less than 7 is called as an acid. In contrast, base, a substance or a solution which turns red litmus paper into blue. A solution having pH greater than 7 is called as a base. Arrhenius theory. Arrhenius in 1984 first and foremost introduced a radical theory, the acid-base behavior in an aqueous medium. An acid represents a substance which particularly ionizes in aqueous medium to give rise to the formation of hydrogen ions via ultimate and intimate association with the solvent, that is water, to result hydronium ions. A base ionizes in an aqueous medium to produce hydroxyl ions. Therefore, the Arrhenius theory is evidently and grossly limited to as water as the solvent. Let's take a look of limitations of Arrhenius theory. Some compounds are basic in nature, but they don't contain hydroxyl group, like hydrochloric acid. Some of the compounds do not contain hydrogen ion, but still show acidic properties. Ferric chloride and copper sulfate are the best examples. Arrhenius acid-base concept is applicable in aqueous state, but not for the gaseous state. Arrhenius theory says that hydrogen available freely in aqueous solution but essentially hydrogen is always hydrated to form hydronium ion. These are the limitations of Arrhenius theory. Now let's talk about Bronsted-Lowry theory. The Bronsted-Lowry theory is an acid base reaction theory which was proposed independently by Johannes Nicholas Bronsted and Thomas Martin Lowry in 1923. According to the Bronsted-Lowry theory, an acid is a substance which is rich with a proton and donate it to base. A base is a substance which is deficient with the protons and accept it from the base. But there are certain limitations to this theory. This theory does not give any idea regarding acidic and basic nature of a protic solvent. The theory can be explained only in case where acid and base exist in the form of conjugate acid base pair. These are the limitations of this theory. Now Lewis electron theory. There are amphoteric substances which do not either donate or accept hydrogen ions when they act as an acid or bases. There is a whole new definition of acid base behavior which does not necessarily involve hydrogen ions at all. In 1938, Gilbert and Lewis proposed the acid base theory on the basis of electron pair acceptance and donation. An acid is a substance which accepts electron pair, base is a substance which donates an electron pair. So there are certain advantages of this theory. Lewis acid base titration can be carried out in a variety of the solvent which is restricted in the Bronsted Lowry theory. Coordinate bond formation during the neutralization of acid and base. But there are limitations. The relative strength of acid and bases cannot be explained by this concept.